in this video I'm going to be sharing you my third trimester pregnancy workout and let's get to it. So as you see here I'm simply just doing some simple cardio, jumping jacks and uh, glute kicks and that's totally okay as long as you feel comfortable and the baby is safe. So this is doing down dog to plank, you're really opening up your upper back, you're really extending forward and this should feel really good and it is okay for your baby to be in this position and it's actually helpful for labor. So bringing your knees to your uh, baby is another um, little exercise that you can do just to keep your body and your limbs moving. This is strengthening the lower abdominal muscles that will help with delivery as well. Working on the calf muscles, those that you have swollen ankles, that's also going to help. So again, do this in whatever order that you like, just to warm up the body, make sure that your wrists are warmed up and go at a slow pace. No need to go fast. After all, you're in your third trimester, so take it easy. So crossing over your body, doing a calf raise is also gonna be great too. So lowering your knees, Opening up those hips. I've done this a lot during the pregnancy and it has helped out tremendously because your hips are tight, your low back is tight, and this strengthening exercise is truly going to help. There are various exercises that you can do on, in the hands and knees position. This one I'm simply just raising the glute. And some are a little bit more painful than others. Painful meaning uh, just because of your baby and how, it, how your baby is sitting. So some may feel easy, some may feel hard, but do challenge yourself, but make sure you're being safe and the baby is protected. Uh, make sure that you're breathing with all of your movements and never to overheat. So this sums up the warm up pretty much going into the workout. I have some dumbbells here to elevate to get more of a workout. I'm doing really, really deep push ups as you see. My elbow is in line with my wrist. I'm pushing out, um, breathing out through my mouth as I'm going up. And I'm keeping a very, very strong core. I'm not sinking the low back. And then adding some steps to get some more cardio. So back, back, forward, forward working those legs. If you feel like jumping, you can, but again, third trimester, be safe. Lowering the knees now. Again, I always revert to the glutes and the hips and the low back because me personally, that's where I feel the most tension during this pregnancy. So doing some glute raises, keeping those glutes in shape and toned is actually gonna also help with delivery to help you push that baby out. So again, I'm simply lifting the glutes, keeping everything strong. And then we're going to progress to one of my favorite low back exercises during pregnancy, where you simply sit back closer to your heels and drive up, squeezing your pelvic floor, squeezing your low back. If you want more of a challenge, go ahead and grab a dumbbell. Again, I'm a little bit more advanced, so to speak, so I have a pretty hefty pound dumbbell there, and I'm simply using this with weights for more resistance. So I'm able to go up on the weight, making it a little bit more challenging. And you make this as easy or as hard as you want based on your dumbbell. You can even get five pounds if that's better for you. But you're really focusing on, again, squeezing those glutes and that low back. Squats are going to be great for delivery. The lower you squat, you're just opening up the muscles and the joints, keeping them nice and loose for delivery so that it will be easy. Bicep curls. Arms are probably one of the easiest and safest things you can do while you're pregnant. You can do bicep curls. You can use light weight with several reps, or you can choose to go a little heavier and do less reps. So I'm crossing over my body here. This is simply exercising a different portion of my bicep muscle so that you can hit all corners of your arms. And doing biceps with the dumbbells flat out, as you see here, is the most difficult variation to really dig deep into that bicep muscles so that you can really see results fast.
cranking it up a bit as you see I'm in the squat position I'm going high up on those calf raises so this is really challenging even if you're not pregnant but you're really challenging your legs you're challenging your glutes and those calves as you try this doing some squat pulses really pulse it out keep those legs strong for delivery lunges always a safe option with weight or without still make sure that your knee is in line with your heel and that you're keeping the uh, pelvic tucked in low back tucked in you don't want to stick it out especially because you have the baby so much weight up front so small gentle twists are going to be great that's how you can keep those love handles intact even with the baby bump and make sure again every rep that you're breathing so getting back down now walking up into a dolphin pose I'm a big yoga lover and back down to plank very very challenging especially with the added weight of your baby all you are is in a forearm plank and you're tiptoeing your feet forward all the way up breathing 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 out and then you're simply going to slowly go back down this is great for your shoulders great for your low back great for your glutes your calves you name it if you hang tight with me we're working our total body all the time so here are some gentle stretches after you do a tough exercise like that you may want to kind of stretch out and take it easy this is really opening up the hamstrings again your low back you're working that out a lot you're keeping your shoulders drawn away from your neck you're keeping a flat back and you're really over exaggerating your glutes going back to really stretch out so trying the same move with one leg again you're mainly focusing on your hamstrings here but by balancing on one foot you're also activating your core muscles so very slowly you're inhaling through your nose as you go down and you're breathing out through your mouth very slowly as you come up so of course you got to do both sides so go ahead and switch Picking up some weight here to do pretty much the same exercise with both legs down on the ground, working on your hamstrings. Again, your hamstrings are connected to your low back, so very important if you're experiencing back pain, make sure that you have strong hamstring muscles. So very slowly and gently, flat back, shoulders away from your ears. You're working on your hamstrings, driving up with that low back and squeezing the glutes at the top. So transitioning now, strong shoulders, again, just like your biceps, bicep curls. This is a great exercise to do while you're pregnant. Simply press straight up, keeping your core tight. There's not a lot of tension, not a lot of force to your little baby inside. And you can keep a really strong and toned upper body. So this should be something that you enjoy. I'm doing curtsy lunges here where you are crossing that leg diagonally behind your front leg and these are actually curtsy lunge pulses so I'm started with one pulse went to two now I'm on four and this is really good to fire up those inner thighs and mainly your hips and your glutes so if you're looking to keep the glutes in shape this is a great exercise so make sure that you do both sides make sure that you're inhaling down and you're breathing out through your mouth as you come to the top Keep your torso upright, even with baby in front. All right, so let's finish off with some more hip flexor exercises. So this particular one, I'm tapping my knees together and I'm kicking out and this is really really gonna fire up those glutes you're gonna feel it immediately even though you have baby in front make sure you're not tucking your tailbone in make sure you're really engaging your core and that is still possible with a baby you really just have to tuck your tailbone in so you're kicking out you're lifting that butt cheek glute you're breathing out every single time and you're gonna find that this is really really gonna help with delivery keeping all the muscles around your pelvic floor very, very strong. 
So this sums up the pregnancy third trimester workout. I hope you really enjoyed it. Use some of these exercises. Again, I worked up all the way uh, to delivery and this has been proven to work. I filmed a large variety of pregnancy prenatal workouts, so I hope you enjoy. Check some of these out and be sure to subscribe. Thanks.